So I got something that was very exciting in the mail yesterday. And uh, I was supposed to open it on camera, but I didn't. I forgot to. Um, so I'm just going to show you now. You know, um, I got... Well, I ordered uh, some axe heads from eBay um, by a very nice seller. He, that's what he does. He just... He, uh, he kind of cleans the rust off of the axe heads and then sells them in lots. And so I bought a lot myself, and so I got uh, four single bits. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to show you which ones I got. I figured you all might want to see those. Um, one of the axe heads that I got was uh, this little three-pound Collins. Okay, y'all can see that now. Perfect. I can't remember what pattern this is. Give me a second, I'm gonna look at my little handy dandy chart here. If y'all ever wanna find a uh, like a good resource to identify axe heads, um, just go on to Google and type in um, axe head patterns. And then this should come up, and then you can just print this um, onto a page. And this is incredibly helpful because it uh, it only gives you a rough estimate of the of what pattern it is, because there are definitely uh, different manufacturers. But uh, this one, the True Temper, kind of designed the, the, the main patterns. One of these two. I don't think it's a Dayton because it gets real thin. So that's a Dayton right there. And that these are the two that I'm considering that it might be. So that's the first one. I'm excited about this one. It, it's going to really move some wood. I love that shape. That's a, that's a good one. Um, next one is a, a Michigan pattern uh, worth. Now, if, if any of you guys in the axe community know anything about uh, worth tools, I would really appreciate um, some information because I don't know anything about them and I can't find anything about them online um, except for the fact that they were that they primarily made like chisels but then decided to make an axe but otherwise it's uh it's quite a mystery to me but it's nice it it's good steel and Let's go ahead and show y'all the Michigan pattern on the piece of paper here. It's a Michigan. Um, next one that I got was uh, a Craftsman jersey pattern. I like this one a lot. It's it's definitely a short fatty. You know, it's it gets really thick. I'm gonna try and focus on on the profile. There we go. See how like thick and and but also short. How short that is compared to something a, a little longer. I'll try and see if I can. I'm gonna just use my the Rockaway pattern that I have here. So this. Plum Rockaway that I've been showing you guys hasn't really been used all that much and the pole of the Craftsman is about the same height but you can see how much longer that pl little Plum Rockaway is so I don't know much about this axe head in particular I don't know the ear or I don't know much about when Craftsman was making axe heads, 
but I'm going to have to do some research. Um, actually, if you guys have axe heads and you don't really know the history behind the company who makes the axe head, um, and you would like to learn, you guys should look up uh, yesteryeartools.com. Uh, I think that's I think that's what it is. Um, but it's it's just a giant list of all the different uh, North American axe companies, and then you can click on them, and it gives you the entire history. Of, of that company. Um, last but not least, um, I got a. Uh, I you know what I don't know about this one. All I know is that it was made in West Germany, which is pretty cool. But I don't know anything about German axes. made in West Germany. Somebody, like either a rock or a, a tool, it looks like it was a tool, really took down some of that name, or some of that uh, touch mark. Uh, and then it's got three and a half on the back. So it's three and a half pounds. Took away a little bit of the three here. But all in all, it's in great condition, you know, and, uh, but look at how much steel is on the side of the eye. So it's a little thinner right here. I think somebody like went at it with a file and, and wasn't thinking, but this is a better example. How much steel is on the sides here? It's a, it's pretty, pretty meaty compared to some of the other patterns. This Collins is a good example. Train. So, this is the West German pattern, and this is the, the Collins. And, I mean, at least I can see there's quite a bit of difference. This one is much uh, thicker. So, those are the axe heads that I got. I'm very excited to choose some handles, and that's going to be a little easier to do now that they're down at my shop. And I can show you guys how I go through that process. But, these are exciting.